I just know they're here and I'm starting to find out where they exist here on the res. And it knows, we know it's here. Destroyed that one tree back here. And so I think it's just a sign of don't mess with me. And we're not. We just want to know how many of them are here. It's crazy. And I'm breathing hard for some reason. I think it's nearby. It was, man, um, yeah, I'm gonna be a minute and I'll, I'll give you a call when I, I get done here. Okay. I'm Pachasia. I'm Victoria Washington, the granddaughter of the late Alfonso and Christine Washington. Um, grew up with uh, a stepfather, hunted Sasquatch on a daily basis. We used to um, come out and spotlight at night, hunt during the day, and like I said, come to places like this on the Chief Martin Road. Generally, because it's real quiet, it's remote, it's a place where probably Sasquatch can live peacefully and not have to you know, worry about seeing too many people. My late father, um, the Chattis Gatum, Witch Talem, Kenny Cooper, in other words, was a Sasquatch hunter from early 70s on. And, but he's passed away now, and so Marcel Kay has taken over that. I don't know, for whatever reason, it chose me. You know, you don't choose Marcel. <laughs> Marcel has to choose you. But when it started choosing me and coming around my house, my yard, I felt I need to study and research this thing 100%. So I threw everything in my power to learn everything about it. And I did. And I was, I was in awe. And I'm still in awe. There could be up to 18 of them here. On this res? On this res. And they're scattered sites. And so I found footprints in just about all their sites. And the way, oh, oh, don't stop right there. The way they do this <laughs> is all this debris had fallen into their footprint. You see the heel? I gotta dig it out a little bit. But you see how that piece is kind of pushed into the dirt? Sort of like, this is a fairly old print, like maybe a few days old. I believe these uh, Sasquatch here reside here for, and forever they've been here because some of the trails that I found walking along the Nooksack River, and I was with the BFRO group of people, and what we found was their trails were well used. So well used and permanently used that the ground was hard as concrete. Freeman Young is like a 27 year uh, researcher. Freeman Young says their tie to this land goes back thousands of years. And then when the Native American came or were here, there was an agreement, he says. There must have been an agreement a thousand years old between the two tribes, the Sasquatch tribe and the, the Native tribe. And some of our elders will tell you here from Lummi uh, when they were kids they played with the Sasquatch kids I think as man start building all the roads and stuff they kind of just faded back into the forest away from us by the 1920s and the 30s they just basically vanished from our sight period until the what late 60s I think they uh wanting to uh, reconnect with some of the native uh, 
uh, tribes because they've been spotted uh, like out here in Lummi. On down at the McKinsey projects, you know, they started some new housing building behind the, what they've got up there right now. And they claim Sasquatch has been there and that he was actually on Salmon Road and Michael Road, walking up and down the road there. And, and I lived right there then, I had no idea, but there were sightings there, more recent in the last year. And this is one of those places on the Chief Martin Road here, across from the water treatment, the water reservoir. And I know it must be intelligent. It's got to have some type of intelligence. They're smart enough to not be seen when they need to be. We want to save and protect their uh, habitat is so that, you know, we could coexist and keep coexisting with it. But we're not going to do that in a nice way. We keep taking the forest away from it. I want a law put in place so nobody can go research these things. I want them left alone. Um, they're not bothering us yet. They're showing us signs they exist. I think that's about as close as they want to come to us right now. Whenever you go into its forest, its trail, its habitat, um, please bring something of food. Um, like this, this is all we have. And I'm, I'm, I should be ashamed. I should have brought, had my apples and my sweet potatoes, but I wasn't counting on coming here and, and uh, doing this. So what we're gonna do is leave an offering for this guy or however many there are. So you wanna tell them thank you, allowing us to be here, sharing with us your, your magnificent power. Oh, so that's all you gotta do. You just kinda leave them these right here. I like to like form like stuff like that. You know, he'll know, he can smell, he'll know.